it is very rare for me to actually stand up for other YouTubers. Um, the last time I did it was back in about last year where I stood up for Mr. Repsion. Uh, this YouTuber by the name of Megan Speaks, you probably already know her, uh, accused Mr. Repsion for um, profiting from, um, what's her face, Amanda Todd's death. You know, he wasn't profiting for, uh, from Amanda Todd. He, he wasn't, like, showing his, I don't know, his chest to get views and subscribers and etc. He wasn't doing it like Megan Speaks. He was speaking on his mind, and that's about it. And Megan Speaks were, you know, went entirely overboard, go fucking nuts. So now I'm doing it again for the sake of the Amazing Atheist. But I'm not doing it because of, you know, she's, this YouTuber is attacking my inspiration. No, I'm attacking this YouTuber because the things that she says is incredibly dumb. But, you know, maybe she has the balls. The big, non-existent balls. to go after me. That being said, let's begin. I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. You guys probably already know who the Amazing Atheist and Anita Sarkeesian are. No, I don't know who they are. <laughs> But just in case you don't, here's a quick bio of each. The Amazing Atheist is a prominent godless YouTuber who, along with making atheism videos, also makes anti-feminism videos. Well, I don't know about you, but he doesn't just talk about atheism and feminism. You know, there's more to it. I believe he is regularly attacked for this on the social media site Tumblr and because of it has surmised that every feminist in the world hates men and him. That's why cisgender white men don't go to Tumblr. Anita Sarkeesian is the host of Feminist Frequency, which investigates the ways in which the residue of years and years of sexism and misogyny throughout history still clings to film, media, and most importantly, the video game industry. Oh yes, the sexism that exists in media, uh, video games, and in reality, it still exists. Uh, all I can say is bull. She uses her research findings to expose how female game characters are often sexualized, made to appear disposable, and are the targets of violence. Ah, that doesn't happen to men though, right? Right? Her credibility becomes the focus of the discussion of game misogyny, mostly by anti-feminists, misogynists, and just really die-hard gamers. She removed the comment portion on her videos after receiving numerous death and rape threats. Even before she disabled her comments, you can, you can only comment on her videos if you only give positive feedback to her. In other words, if you stroke her ego, she'll listen. If you don't stroke her ego, well, she'll just stick up the middle finger and say, fuck you, how dare you criticize me? You're an evil son of a bitch. And she did in fact allow comments for at least a few days just to show on how sexist and misogynistic the entire gaming industry is because, you know, they don't like women playing video games. Wah, wah. Yeah, fuck you. You do realize that this is common among many, many Flash games on the internet. There are beat-em-up games based on celebrities. And, you know, there are games where you can customize your character to look like a certain someone, so that way you can beat the living shit out of it. But... No, no, apparently Anita Sarkeesian is the only person who shouldn't have a video game based on how you should beat the living hell out of her. Because she's a woman. You're doing this because she's a woman, she has a voice, therefore, 
You are doing this because you hate her vagina. Seriously, if you may took the time and effort to make a beat em up game based on yours truly, then I'd be fucking flattered that someone went out of the way to make a video game just to express on how much they hate me. Why, thank you, good sir, for making such a wonderful video game where you get to beat Cause already agitated and angry viewers who completely intended on doing the same thing to argue that she was not allowing them their democratic right of voting for a video's credibility by using the words ugly cunt along with giving thumbs downs after encouraging their nerdy, I mean equally angered friends, to do the same. She was also funded through Kickstarter to take her original hypothesis a step further and conduct official research. Which she has done so fucking poorly. Pretty much everyone has debunked her freaking thesis. This also caused much controversy because although conducting research has proved to be extremely expensive, no one who we don't like should ever have money. Ever. Are you fucking kidding me? She stole Let's Play videos. The point of her Kickstarter was to get a bunch of video games, play it, and then make her thesis on it. However, she stole Let's Play videos, which pretty much negates everything that she has done her video quality has not improved her her lighting is only improved by a little bit that's about it everything else is pretty much the same thing and she done her research so fucking poorly in fact anyone can do this amount of research the same amount of research that anita sarkeesian has for nothing literally nothing I have a friend on here. His name is WarCorp666, and he is far better, a far better critic of video games than Anita Sarkeesian will ever, ever be. Links in the description. Sarkeesian, who regularly speaks out on the subject of sexism and has spoken on TED TV, was scheduled to speak at Utah State University. But the college where the event was staged received a death threat, which described a massacre with a semi-automatic weapon if the event were to take place. The event was canceled, and the amazing atheist took it upon himself to berate Sarkeesian for refusing to speak at the event. He recalls a time when the massacre at Columbine got everyone blaming Marilyn Manson for teen violence. And when Manson was scheduled to perform in Colorado a year later, he went on stage even though he had received death threats. Shockingly, he thinks it's pertinent to die for one's beliefs. Or is it that he lays his cards right on the table when he chooses to shoot videos where he sucks cigarette smoke into his lungs? You're, you're missing the entire point of the video. Death threats are usually just a way to scare off people. If someone really wanted to kill Anita Sarkeesian, they would keep their mouth shut, sneak into the, into the event, and then bring a gun, shoot Anita Sarkeesian, and then, you know, go to jail. Possibly for 10, 20 years at most. And then every feminist in the fucking world will rage and say that Gamergate's responsible for this shit. <sighs> what else to say? Everything unsaid surfaces when you see someone so careless with their own life. It's like he's saying, sometimes you don't get cancer from these. You just can't live a life of fear. You gotta take a chance sometimes, otherwise lung cancer wins. What the fuck does this have to do with anything? I mean, the amazing atheist smokes. So? It's the guy in the trailer park with the tornado coming saying, I just gotta stay, otherwise weather wins. What about Gabrielle Gifford? How about the people that Elliot Rogers killed? Sometimes people really do come through and attack. You think that because a person who regularly speaks publicly missed one speech that she isn't dedicating herself wholly to what she believes in? This is a false equivalence right here. I mean, so a few people actually go through with their death threats, fine. But how often does that happen? Maybe she wants to be alive. Maybe she doesn't want to eat through a straw the rest of her life. And what of people who don't speak publicly at all? For instance, I have a debilitating fear of public speaking. 
but I'm cool with making YouTube videos. Is my medium less relevant? Do my core values mean less because I am not shouting at a crowd of people who are staring at Instagram? What about artists or directors? People who make documentaries or write books? These people are constantly missing the speech, but their message still gets to people. Well, she wants to start a quote unquote discussion. Well, it's kind of hard to have a discussion to someone who doesn't want to discuss anything at all. Have you forgotten that Anita Sarkeesian makes YouTube videos that receive tons of views daily? If Sarkeesian is wrong, what do you all have to lose? Well, let's see, being viewed as humans, for starters, having to deal with this pathetic minority who tells men that they're misogynistic pigs for playing these misogynistic games because their little feelings get hurt so easily. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah. Having to change video games just to fit their fucking perspective. Do you understand that there are millions of people conducting research every day? All of them doing a much more better job than Anita Sarkeesian. In most cases, you have to pay to even see articles that have been published in journals, so you will literally never read the information or even be able to use it in a school report unless you are in college. If she is right, the only thing that she will be changing is the content of video games. I am very, very doubtful about this. That means no more women with tits out being attacked. And more men being killed, right? Is that so horrible? If the only reason you are playing video games is to enact fantasies on pixelated women, your parents need to step in and change that. Who the fuck are you to dictate on what reasons we should play a video game? If some guy who wants to play a video game just because he wants to see a bunch, just a bunch of boobs, then let him. But most people don't play because of boobs. They play because of the fucking game. If you are yourself a parent and you are fighting for keeping disgusting violence in video games, you need to speak to someone. Disgusting violence? Violence in video games that are that is fictional. Fictional violence. I, uh, oh, 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 my brain fucking hurts. Oh. Where do you get these ideas? Jack Thompson? Your fighting feminism makes you look like you don't have an up-to-date knowledge of history. Because feminism is perfect. There should be no reason to oppose it. Right? And also, it makes you look like you have a problem with women. No, 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 no. Opposing feminism does not mean that you have a problem with women. Opposing feminism means that you have a problem with feminists. Feminists like this person right here. Go do some fucking research, you red hair dumbass. I am the atheist gamer. Peace. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. And of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google+, fucking sucks.